What's up everyone? I'm Tim and this is my channel 40 Times Around where we talk about everything related to motorcycles, camping, travel, and adventure. And today we're going to talk about what is quickly becoming my top choice for motorcycle camping sleeping pad, the Sea to Summit Comfort Plus SI. So we're going to talk about exactly why I think this is the perfect motorcycle camping sleeping pad right after this. So I wanted to try out some new gear on this trip to the Sierras and one thing I had been looking to improve on was my sleep system and, and in particular my sleeping pad. I wasn't thrilled with the reliability of my air mattress and my closed cell foam packed too big I, and it wasn't very comfortable. I tried a cheaper self inflating from Weylick which was great, super comfortable, affordable, warm and easy to set up. The major downside though was the pack size. I just felt like I had a lot of room for improvement in the sleeping pad department of my gear. I always try to improve little things on every big adventure. I try to do it better than the last time. It's like a constant competition with myself to pack lighter, smarter and more efficiently. Well I think I found the perfect balance of the big factors when it comes to a sleeping pad for motorcycle camping. Obviously if I was car camping and I wanted comfort without the worry of pack size and weight, there are lots of options. Things get a little tricky when you try to balance weight, comfort, and price. It's almost impossible to have all three. I think this is a good balance, and it even comes with quality. Right off the bat, this is not a cheap sleeping pad by any means, but you get what you pay for, and the value for your money is definitely there. Also, for our purposes today, I'll be referring to the regular size, not the large. Even if you're tall like me, you might want to consider the regular, because it will just be your feet that don't quite make it on the pad, if anything. So as far as the price, the regular size version right now on Amazon, this is coming in at about $140. That's really not that outrageous for a Sea to Summit product, which can be pricey. But like I said, they always back it up with quality. So for me, this is more of an investment in gear that will last and give me a good ROI. So I went to the camp store the other night to sample some of the sleeping pads, and I tried out all the demos they had. I had been debating and researching for a while and was just kind of on the fence with the whole thing. I was ready to spend for the right sleeping pad, I just didn't want to buy something I would regret for any reason. I was actually leaning towards spending less than I did at the time because it felt like less of a risk. And as I was going through all the sleeping pads, all of their samples, laying on each of them, uh, checking out the pack size and weight, looking at pricing and just kind of scanning through things. I'm not even kidding. This sleeping pad was one of the most comfortable sleeping pads, including their car camping or their base camp pads, which were four to six inches thick with foam and weigh a ridiculous amount and they were admittedly comfortable, uh, this sleeping pad held its own with those and stood out from the crowd of similar size and price point sleeping pads. As soon as I laid down on it, I was pretty much sold, and after sleeping on it for the last few nights, I'm fully convinced this was the right choice, at least for me and my priorities for motorcycle camping. So let's just run through a few of the stats and some info on this, and then I'll show you the really quick and easy setup process. So the neat thing about self-inflating sleeping pads is that you can just open the valve and throw it on the ground and Set up the rest of your camp while you wait for it to inflate. The SI's multifunction valve makes it really easy to get the perfect firmness on the pad. I actually really like the way you just twist the valve when deflating, which makes getting all the air out really easy and makes it possible to get it packed down really small. The SI inflates to three inches thick, which is plenty of cushion, even on rough ground. The inside is a delta core, which reduces pack size and volume, but it's super durable and really comfortable. It also helps keep the pack size down. It has an R value of 4.1, which covers any season that you would be motorcycle camping. And I would even use this in colder temps, even winter camping. So I really don't see a chance of this not keeping me warm and insulated from the cold ground. It's made with a 30D knit fabric, and it's also got a no-slip grip that keeps you from sliding off of it all night. It weighs one pound, 15 ounces, so just shy of two pounds. Pack size is six and a half by 11 inches, and the dimensions of the pad laid out are six feet long and 20 inches wide at the shoulders, 16 inches at the feet. Like I said, it's a very durable sleeping pad. I find it hard to believe anything could actually puncture this without at least a good fight. So those are all the stats. I'm not trying to oversell this thing. I am just really happy with it. For me, this is a great balance of weight, comfort, and price with a heavy focus on comfort. Like I said, this was one of the more comfortable sleeping pads out of all of the ones I tried. It was also far from the heaviest or largest. It was kind of right in the middle for the price. The R value is another great feature, right along with its durability and ease of setup. And like I said earlier, the valve system is great, and really easy to use. Actually, let's go ahead and check that out. So this is the valve here, and as you can see, you just pull it out and twist it around when it's time to deflate it. And this prevents any reinflation while squeezing all of the air out. So to inflate it, you just open this valve and let it fill with air. 
I just kind of open it up like this and then let it do its thing. It takes a few minutes and then you can just give it a few breaths to get it to the right firmness. Test it out and if you need to let a little out, just press this little button here and that'll release some air. And that's it. When it's time to deflate it, just pull out the valve and twist it 180 degrees and place it back in the hole. Roll it up once to get all the air out and then unroll it and fold it in half and tightly roll it back up and then quickly twist the valve back around and close it up. Comes with a stuff sack too, which is pretty handy. Uh, you might have a little bit of a struggle getting it back in after you inflate it for the first time, but with a little effort, this thing packs down pretty small. Just make sure when you first buy this or any self-inflating mat that you inflate it for 24 hours and then repack it before going on an adventure with it. This will make sure that it inflates easier next time and gets everything ready for use after it's been so tightly compressed from the factory for who knows how long. Anyways, I'm super happy with the Cedar Summit Comfort Plus SI sleeping pad, if you couldn't tell already. I wish I had something negative to say about it, just to be fair, but I really can't think of anything. Of course, there are lighter options and cheaper options, and there might even be more comfortable options too. Although honestly, this pad is better than my bed at home. But like I said, this was a perfect balance for me, and it comes from a brand that I have a lot of faith in, and they have a great reputation for durability and quality products. So I highly recommend that if you're in the market for a sleeping pad, for motorcycle camping, that you at least consider this option. I am thoroughly impressed with its performance so far. Like I said, I'll link to it down below if you want to check it out. And that's about it. That's my review of the Cedar Summit Comfort Plus SI. I hope you guys got something out of this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys want to see more videos about motorcycles, camping, travel, and adventure. And be sure to hit the little bell. That way you guys turn on notifications and you don't miss anything whenever I post something new. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.